Makvala Surmanidze does what's traditionally expected of a woman in her community and something that used to be a job only for men. Inside hollowed out tree logs called jaras, Caucasian grey bees have made their hives. With help from her son Lasha, Makvala collects their harvest. It's a very hard job. It's a man's business. But I was left alone when my husband died. The children were small and had to continue the family tradition. Makvala only takes half of the honeycomb and leaves the rest for her bees. I love bees. I often come to see them. I understand them, their needs and the problems they have. The bees uh, seem to be quite calm now and I uh, hope I'm keeping a sufficiently safe distance away from the hive. But as I can see it, the honeycombs are being made the way they would in the wild. So while it may not be the most efficient way to harvest honey, it certainly seems to be one of the most natural. The honey is sold, along with its nutritious honeycomb, as a unique organic product, helping to make Jara beekeeping, a tradition once in decline, profitable again. Last year we collected 1.7 tons. We expect more than three tons this year. The process is growing. The interest of beekeepers has also increased because their incomes have gone up. High in the mountains, I went to see how some hives are still being kept the ancient way. Ramin Chichavadze keeps his hives where the bears won't find them. This is not the first time I've climbed this tree. This is our family tradition, starting with my grandfather, then my father. Well, there you have it, a tree house for bees. I've never seen beehives quite like this. I climb the tree often to set up the jara hives, to check on the bees and to collect the honeycomb. There were just 54 known Jara beekeepers in this region two years ago. Now there are more than 80. This beekeeping from the past still has a future. Robin Forestier Walker, Al Jazeera, Ajara.